Today, we're going to create a simple horoscope application using Python. So how it's going to work is that you're going to be able to input your star sign, so Aquarius, Pisces, or whatever, and it's going to output your horoscope reading. This application will be hosted using AWS serverless services like API Gateway as the main API endpoint and AWS Lambda as the backend where the code will be hosted. I will also use Google Bard to spit out the horoscope results and we will use a service called Postman to test that everything all works together. I'm really excited to show you this. I am so excited for this project because it's going to show you just how easy it is to use AWS serverless services to create applications in the cloud. I am going to begin by walking you through an architectural diagram of what we're going to build. And then once you know, once you have the picture of what we're building, then we'll jump into the AWS console and start building. Once the build is complete, we'll then run some tests to ensure that everything works as expected. And at the very end, I'll give you some recommendations on things you can do to improve on this application because what we're building today is sort of an MVP, a minimum viable product. So definitely hang on to the end for that. If you're looking to get your first job in the cloud, I have a free guide that you will love. It's a proven blueprint that walks you through the three simple steps you can take today to make you more attractive as a candidate for potential employers. These are steps you can take to improve your technical skills as well as your communication skills that will help you stand out to potential employers. The link for that is in the description, so go get it now. All right, let's jump into the episode and build this serverless horoscope. Before starting on any cloud projects, it's really important to have a visual in front of you. And that's why over here we have an architectural diagram, simply because once you have a visual, it makes it easy to know, okay, this is what I need to create. And it just helps to make the actual build process easier. So over here, we start with a user and you can see the user will send a post request to the Amazon API gateway, which serves as the API endpoint. For example, the user will send their star sign. So if they're Aquarius or Pisces, they send say Aquarius. And then the API gateway will then send the Aquarius message to the Lambda function to be processed. So Lambda will then see, okay, the user is Aquarius. Here's the response, you know, your day will look sunny or whatever. And then the Lambda will send the response back to the user. So that just gives you a visual of what we're about to do. Let's jump right into the build in the AWS console. Here we are in the AWS console and I can see I'm in the Ireland region. The first thing we want to do is create a Lambda function. So here we go, Lambda, create a function and let's call this horoscope. And for the runtime, I want Python 3.11. I can leave everything else the same and create function. And it might take a couple of minutes for the function to create, but yeah, it should be ready soon. Here we go. So we can see we have this function. Now, when the information is passed from the, the user to Lambda, it's going to be saved in the event. So what I want to do is I want to return event. It just, it just be a really good way to test to see what data comes in. So let's deploy. Okay, successfully deployed. Next, we want to go to the API gateway and create that. API gateway, let's open that in a new tab. Perfect. So the API we want, we want to have is the REST API. So click build. Okay, and we want to have a new API and we're going to call this horoscope, horoscope dash API. And yeah, we can leave it as a regional one, create API. So now what we want to do is we want to create a method. Uh, so actions create a method and we, so you can see we have different methods like any delete, get, head, options, post, put, what we want is post because our user is going to be sending a post request. So post, and we can then say, okay, when the post request comes in, where do we want to send that information? So we want to send it to a Lambda function 
in the EU West 1 region. And the Lambda function we want is horoscope. So if you start typing the name of the Lambda, it gives it to you. Perfect. And now we save. Okay. So that seems to have been set up properly. Next, we want to um, deploy the API because the API gateway doesn't work until you deploy it. So let's uh, deploy API and deployment stage, new stage, and I'm going to call this dev. So let's assume we were just creating this app for the first time. We don't want it to go in production yet. So we'll, we can create a stage called dev. So we know that everything that comes in is in a dev. And once everything's working, we can then create a new stage called prod. And that's, that's where all the production changes go. But for now, that's fine. So we, we, we have the API now. So how do we test that the API connects with um, Lambda? For that, we need a service called Postman. So let's have a look, Postman. And this is sort of what it looks like. Postman is an API. You can use it to test APIs and build APIs. So if you haven't downloaded it already, I suggest you download Postman. Now, let me open Postman in uh, and we can see what it looks like. So once you've downloaded Postman, it should look like this. And if you want to test the API we just created, you can click this plus sign. It's very important to select what the method is. So we don't want a get, we want a post. And next we enter the URL. So if I come here, after we deployed the API gateway, it's given us a URL. So what we need to do is copy this. And if you come back in Postman and we paste that in here. And next we go in the body and choose raw. So what, let's send it as an as a JSON file. So we have this brackets and then let's have sign. And then the sign we want to send in this instance is Aquarius, All right? So, you know, the sign is an Aquarius, it's a JSON file. So sent, and we'll just see what happens. So you can see all it's done is it's re returned sign Aquarius. And that's because it's taken the message to the Lambda and we just want it, we just wanted to return the event, which is basically the message we got. And that's why it's re responded with sign Aquarius. So now let's, let's, um, let's make a change. So let's say we want to return a response, for example. And for now, let's say response equals event. But let's say we only want it to output Aquarius as opposed to, you know, the whole JSON. You know, take a second and I want you to try and do it, right? So if we just wanted to return response, uh, sorry, to return just the Aquarius value, what do we do? Pause the video and figure it out. But for those who want to continue, all we need to do is square bracket and put sign because it's a key value store. So by defining the key we want, which is sign, it knows to output the value, which is Aquarius. So let's deploy that. And now if we run this again, we can see it's just outputting Aquarius. So now we know, okay, it's definitely, um, it's definitely interacting with Lambda and everything looks good. So now let's actually create some actual horoscope values for it to, to create. For that, let's go on use Google Bard. I was going to use chart GPT, but everyone uses chart GPT. So let's try, let's try something different, Google Bard. And with that, what we want to do is we want to get some values, right? So I want to, the command I want to run is create horoscope results for all star signs. So we'll just give that a second to process. There we go. So you can see it's given us a lot of star signs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy a few of this because this is just an MVP and you can then uh, f fill it up from there. So to do that, we can actually, 
one way we could do this is like an if statement. So if event sign equals Aquarius, then output this. If event sign equals Pisces, output that. But there's something called a switch statement. And in Python, I mean, with most programming languages, you can have like a switch statement where it's like, it's kind of like an if else statement, but it's a lot cleaner. So in this case with Python, that's a match statement. So match, and we'll just copy this event sign. And then we put a colon here and enter. And now we can have, um, we can have case values. So case, and in this case, let's say Aquarius, <clears throat> and then a colon here and enter, then response, equals and now we can put the value so we let's say we want it as a string so for aquarius what do we want it says you're feeling independent and unique today so we're just going to copy that paste it there lovely enter uh, let's do another one case let's say aries or lowercase and with python you have to be very careful of the spacing so make sure that, oops, make sure that yours looks similar to mine. Uh, so Aries response equals, so let's see what it has for Aries. Uh, so we're just going to copy that. The stars are aligned. Great. And paste. All right. So let's test what we have so far. I'm just going to, so what we have is a Lambda handler and what this does is it sees, okay, what is the event sign? So what's the output here? And if the sign is Aquarius, respond with you're feeling independent and unique today and all of that. If the sign is Aries, respond with this. There's also something called a case, um, lowercase. So it's sort of case and this sort of, um, sorry, what's the code? There's something called a sort of case hyphen. I can't remember what the name is, but it's basically this. And what this is, is the default value. So if, if, um, the event sign isn't any of, you know, any of the bits specified to Aquarius or Aries output something. So I'm going to put colon enter response equals I'll put something like inputs a valid star sign. All right, so let's test that it all works. So if I deploy this, and now if I send a request again, we can see we get the response of so sign Aquarius. You're feeling independent and unique today, Aquarius. Cool, that looks great. So let's change this to Aries just to make sure that everything works as we want it to. Send. Yep, the stars are aligned in your favor, Aries. So yeah, we can see it all works as, expend, as expected. And let's see, okay, so let's put a star sign that we haven't defined here just to see what happens. So if I go, let's see, let's see what, what some star signs are. Taurus, for example. If I put in here sign Taurus and then send, we can see input a valid star sign. And so that just shows that what we've put in isn't a part of the cases. So you can, you know, go ahead and fill in the rest, you know, build it out a little bit and yeah, so we could see our API works and let's just look in our Lambda. So to see the Lambda logs, we go to monitor, view logs in CloudWatch. Because yeah, we just want to make sure that everything's going through. So we can see some of the logs here and we can see, yep, everything's worked fine, no problem. So there we go. That's how we create a simple AWS app using AWS serverless services like Lambda and API Gateway. And I think this is like a really good project to get help you get started with serverless. 
uh, to make this even better, what you can do is you can add a custom domain to API Gateway. That way, rather than putting this long value, you could have, you know, horoscope.com kind of thing. So that's one way. Another way to improve this is to add some sort of front end. So rather than using, you know, something like Postman, you can have, you know, in the browser, you can select which horoscope you want and it gives you the report, the results. So a nice front end would make this really nice. You could also add some error handling to the Python code so that if there's an error, it returns, you know, a proper error response. And, you know, you can try deploying the API gateway and the Lambda using infrastructure as code. So there's, there's a lot of things you can do to, to make this even better, but I thought I'd give you something simple to help you get started. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe as well if you liked it for more and yep, yeah, see you in the next one. Make sure you give the video a like if you found it interesting. Why not try one of these videos? You could try that one or that one. I think this one's my favorite. No, no, um, no, this one. Watch this one. Just pick one of them. All right. See you later.